Hi there. We have a big problem as a country. The economy of Kenya is not doing very well. And of course, most people out there acknowledge that even the government of President William Somairoto know that very well. And as such, the government needs to work very hard to ensure it gets back the economy of Kenya back on track. President Ruto is going to be working with his first cabinet. Regardless who is in cabinet or even regardless who is going to become CS in the subsequent nominations and so forth years later, it is very clear we need to work smart as a country to ensure we get back the economy on track. That's why I'm making this video to share with you five areas which I think the government needs to focus on to ensure we get back the economy on track. Having said that, you are all much welcomed to the Money Daily YouTube channel. My name is Afagza Sifunam. And by the way, if it is your first time here, kindly consider subscribing. Subscribe to this channel for you to be getting awesome insights from the videos I upload daily regarding how you can multiply your money and also regarding current affairs out there. Having said that, these are the five key things the government of Dr. William Samoy Ruto needs to focus on. The very first thing is food security in the country. I'm pretty sure everyone out there has felt the pinch over the last few years. The food situation in the country has not been ideal. Cost of living has been increasing and increasing and increasing. And with that, also the presence of food stuff out there have been increasing, increasing, and increasing. In essence, Kenyans have had to dig deep and deep into their pocket to even be able to get a single meal in a day. That's how that situation has gotten to. And of course, to give you an example, like for example, a packet of unga, which is to go, for example, 80 something shillings, 90 something shillings a few years ago, right now is going at over 200 shillings. Telling you already, just a basic basket of food out there has increased in price by even almost three times, which is kind of insane if you think about it. Already from way back, most people in the country were struggling to get food. And now with this, the situation has become dire. So the government has mandate to see to it that they can be able to eventually over long-term measures see how to decrease the price of food stuff in the country or use the converse of it, ensure people out there are able to get money to purchase food stuff out there at the prevailing prices. And that's why even a few days ago, it was an interesting analogy because the president was very clear. The subsidy on consumption, specifically things like reducing price of unga, reducing price of other food stuff there, out there, won't really hold water over long term. His focus is to see how to improve the economies and production. Because when he hits the production economies right, he's going to ensure producers out there are able to produce whatever they are producing at far much less cost and in aggregate, hopefully this translates into the market. That's the end game of the president. But even so, the question I have is, what is the immediate measure to ensure Kenyans are cushioned? We're going to live to see what it's going to do. And then, the second thing the cabinet and the government needs to address is housing and settlement. Yes, housing in Kenya is a huge challenge. And of course, when it comes to housing and settlement, we have two spheres to it. We have the urban sphere and then we have the rural ecosystem. Within the urban centers, to give you an example, guys, the demand for houses in Nairobi, annual increment demand in houses is 250,000 units of houses needed each and every year. And despite this huge number, the current provision is only 50,000 units annually. Meaning, we have a shortage of over 200,000 units of housing each and every year, which by the way is a huge problem, and the government of Dr. William Samuel Ruto needs to address this. Of course, in their manifesto, they put out there, for example, means with which they're, they're thinking about addressing this. And for example, different financing mechanisms, thinking about how to lower the cost of mortgage and so forth. But all these guys are theories unless we see them in practice. And of course, this is a very dire issue because as the population of the city continues to increase, without proper housing, we are also cutting some pending 
disasters like for example diseases out there and stuff like that diseases crimes you name it so the government needs to address this to ensure each and every person out there have access to at least decent housing and beyond that in the rural sphere we're talking about there being challenged with regards to settlement title deeds holding out there and even squatter challenges most around the coast area so all this also the president needs to prioritize and actually address so that across the country the matters around housing and settlement are actually addressed in full right and then the third thing which the government of dr williams morton to address is ensuring businesses are able to function out there in the optimal way i'm talking about the environment being good and also them being able to access money for them to be able to scale their businesses and i'm saying so because over the past few years businesses have really struggled accessing financing has been a huge challenge because of stringent requirements and even beyond that because of listing of a good number of people in the crb which has actually blocked them from accessing financing out there whether through bank financing or even other short-term financing which by that has been a huge challenge and the government needs to address this to ensure business people out there are able to access money for example to scale their businesses they are able to partake in their trade without much pressure they are able to actually expand so that in aggregate businesses expanding they're going to ensure also families out there are able to cater for their needs with ease but if the situation continues as it is we're going to see a lot more number of businesses out there closing and actually rendering many people out there unemployed in essence depending more and more on government so the government needs to have very priority measures with regards to business to ensure businesses are doing well too. And then the fourth thing which the government of Dr. William Smoruto needs to look into is manufacturing. Yes, I said it. You know, it's quite sad if you think about it. Even though over the past few years, the country has been pitching itself as, as a manufacturing hub in the region. It's been pitching itself like manufacturing is a big thing in the country. Which, by the way, yes, it is. It's employing a good number of people out there, but also its contribution to the national cake with regards to wealth creation is very minimal. Because we're talking about over the recent few years, it's fallen drastically. Right now, it is under 8% contribution to the aggregate income of the country, which by the way shouldn't be the case. Based on the capacity of the country, based on the now in the country, manufacturing should actually be up there even beyond agriculture to ensure we go very hard on manufacturing for the country to be able to create wealth. That's why this government is prioritizing some areas. Like for example, value addition across different cash crops out there. Think about it. Even things like pyrethrum, things like cashew nuts, you know. Think about it. Even the textile industry and garments, you know. Beyond that, even the thinking around even leather and other industries out there, the government needs to work so hard to ensure it reinstates the fallen industries. And even beyond that, it does value addition for the key exports for the country. Tea, other crops and so forth so through this the country can be able to increase the price of different products going outside the country and in essence be able to create more wealth for the country which actually is going to be able to trickle down to the Mananshi and they're going to be able to access their daily needs with ease and even they could be able to maybe have savings because of additional employment opportunities and so forth which i think should be a priority in the government of dr william samoy ruto and then lastly is matter relating to technology and innovation the government needs to look at this too. Because as a country, yes, we are partly, partly ahead compared to the region, but in other compared to the globe, we're quite afar with regards to matters technology and also innovation. So the government needs to prioritize this 